past few months, I've been working on this site, pixeldojo.ai. The idea behind the site was to create the ultimate AI playground, a place where people that are interested in generative AI can come to not only get inspired and view some amazing images, but also use the cutting edge AI tools that are coming out almost weekly. Here is the culmination of my last four months of work towards that goal. I'm going to take you on a tour of some of these features and show you a little bit about what you can do with Pixel Dojo. Started, we'll jump into the main user interface, and you can see that on the left hand column here is a menu. I've broken things down into three different categories tools that help you create, tools that help you upscale, and tools that help you enhance your images. So if you drop these down, you can see there are a total of 13 different tools. You've got an AI image creator. This uses all the cutting edge stable diffusion models. You have Stable Diffusion 3, obviously the latest from Stability AI. Image Analyzer. This actually analyzes your image and then comes back with text describing it. Image to Image, Consistent Characters, Instant ID, and PULID Characters. These are three different methods of creating character consistency across images. Next, we have our upscalers. We have both a Creative Upscaler and a Multi-Diffusion Upscaler that I'll go into more detail on. And finally, last but not least, we have on our, our enhanced section. This is where you can do things like image relighting, style transfer, face enhancement, and even material transfer. Now, if you're just starting out, there are really three different ways to get started. Obviously, you can come over to the AI image creator. You can drop in your own prompt, and you can just start generating some images. But sometimes we need a little bit of inspiration. I like to personally start over at the gallery. What you can do here is you can just sort of scroll down and look at some of these images. You can click on one of them that sort of grabs your attention. And then you'll notice over here, I give you all of the information that was used to generate this image. Not only the prompt, but also the model, the number of steps, the resolution, the sampler, everything you need to recreate this. And on top of that, you can simply click on this generate this image button. That's going to grab all of those details and automatically pre-fill them into the AI image creator. You can see that right here. You can click on the advanced tab and you can see that it's filled in all of the different guidance scales, scheduler, everything else that you need. From there, all you have to do is click on the generate button and you're off and running. We can see we got back four different images and they all have that same style and aesthetic as the original. I think these are actually really beautiful. I kind of like this one in the lower left-hand corner, just the waves coming into the shore like that has a really nice look to it. Now, there are some buttons along the top of the images. I'll explain what these do. Now, by default, this is sort of a privacy-first system. So a lot of the times, people have problems with cloud-based image generators simply because they think that all of the data is being stored on their servers. In my case, when these images are generated, they're not stored on Pixel Dojo. In fact, they're not hitting my servers at all. These will disappear the moment you close this page or navigate to another page. So you have a couple of options. You can either click the download button over here, save it to your own file system, or you can click the save to my images button over here. That's gonna save it to your my images section so that you have a permanent record of this. That does store it on my servers, but it's optional. You also have this other button here, which is really cool. I just added this, it's save and upscale. So if you click on this, what it's gonna do is it's gonna save this image and then it's gonna automatically load that image directly into the creative upscaler. From there, you can sort of go with the default settings and just click on upscale. That gives you kind of the best default settings. It's gonna be pretty true to the original image, but it's gonna add a lot of detail to it. It's a few seconds, you've got this enhanced image that's double the original resolution. You can see all that extra detail. Look at the water, for example, or even the clouds and the, the trees in the background, the trees up in the upper right. You can see all the extra detail that's added there. The rocks look much more realistic. And so this is a really good way to take an image that's generated relatively quickly with stable diffusion and then adding a lot more detail. You can also see in those flowers down at the forefront. You can see if you go down here, you get the full image size. So this is the full upscaled image. Now you can upscale these again, or up here in the settings, you can see by default, it's just a 2X upscale, but you can go all the way up to 8X upscaling. You can do an 8X and then 8X again, for example, if you wanted to get a little crazy with it. 
You have a whole bunch of different advanced settings. If you happen to be doing a photo of a person and you need their hands fixed, which is often the case with stable diffusion, I also have hand fixing built in as well. Now, if you happen to like this image, again, you have those same options. You can either download it to your file system or you can go over here and click save. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Now, if you go back over to my images, you can see that those images are right here. And even that upscaled image is right here as well. Now from here, one of the really cool things, if you wanna give back to the community, share your artwork, get a little bit of appreciation, you can click on this button down here. You see it says private. You click on that and now your image is public. If we go back to the community gallery, we can go to the filters, we can go creative upscaler. And what we'll see here, if we sort by newest first, see over here, you've got that new image that you just created. You can click on it and it still saves that original image and the upscale. So you still get that cool slider effect. You can see how well the upscaler actually worked. And as you can see, you still get all the upscale settings. So you can remember for later. Next workflow, I'm gonna check out the image analyzer, kind of show you how that works. So what if you don't have a prompt to start with or an idea for an image, but you have another image that you wanna start from? What you can do is you can drag your image up here and in this case, it's this photo of this woman. It's actually a stable diffusion created photo of a woman. And you can see the prompt by default is describe this image in great detail, including details like the art style, medium, colors, and objects in the image. And simply click analyze image. In the background, this is using an advanced large language model that's multimodal. It's actually able to analyze this image, look at the source details of it, and then generate a prompt based on that. And you can see here, it's come back with this really detailed look. So it says, this image is a close-up portrait of a person with a neutral background, subjects wearing a gray ribbed high neck sweater, really detailed. And, and down here at the bottom, now you could just copy this prompt, or you can see you can send to AI Image Creator, that's the regular Stable Diffusion, or send to Stable Diffusion 3. For these longer prompts, I like to send it to Stable Diffusion 3 because it's able to take up to 10,000 tokens of context, which is quite a lot compared to the old Stable Diffusion, and generate a pretty close representation of the original image. So from here, you can see it's already loaded. You can just simply click Generate. So as you can see, here are four different images that Stable Diffusion 3 generated, and I've gotta say these are pretty close to the original. They have a great look. They follow the same characteristics, that same sweater, uh, everything else, the background, tones, all of that. Now what we could do from here is we could again send this to the upscaler like we did before, or we can select one of these images and I'm just gonna save it to my images. And one of the things a lot of people have a difficult time doing with Stable Diffusion is creating consistent characters. So we're gonna go over to this consistent character tab and we're gonna upload that image that we just generated. I'm gonna to touch anything else and we're gonna click generate. What this does is it builds a model around your image and it's able to create different poses of that same character, but without losing the overall look of the person, something that was pretty difficult to do up until recently. This again is why I created this. It has all the cutting edge tools all in one place. Here's our original character in a whole bunch of different poses. And what I really like about this is just the variety that you get and the fact that it still keeps that same face, the same look, it's really cool. And like I said, this wasn't really possible before. Uh, you can go here and you can click on save all images. And what that does is it saves it to my images, but it saves the whole series. So you've got not only the original image, but you have all the others that were created with it as well. What are some of the cool things you can do with the enhanced section of the site? So you can go over to image relighting, drop that same image up here. And what you can say is something like woman detailed face walking through a sunny European village. Now you can see the original image is just a gray background, nothing special, but we'll go ahead and click generate. And you get back this really cool, completely new lighting aesthetic, but also you see the background changed completely. So not only does it reflect all the light and all the colors around you onto the clothing and the face and the hair, but it also gives it this really natural look all over. We'll go ahead and save one of these images as well. And then what you can do is actually control the light source as well. So you can see we had none. This just gives it a, an overall natural look. 
But you could say, okay, there's a light to the left. And then we could go, woman detailed face sitting in a cafe next to a window. We'll click on generate for that one. And you should have a light source that comes in from the left-hand side of the image now. Look how amazing this looks. Again, it's completely different lighting, background, scene, aesthetic, everything. And the cool thing about this is you couldn't do this easily before. So now you're able to create an image. You can go to the Create tab and do the consistent character. So you can create different poses or you could use something like Instant ID characters where you're able to control the pose and everything. And then you can come over here to Enhance and completely change the background, the lighting, everything else. Really get full control over everything to do with your image. See, I only covered about half of the tools that are offered in Pixel Dojo, but for your subscription, you get an unlimited number of generations using all 13 tools. A lot of these are comfy UI workflows, but as I've done tutorials over the last year plus of comfy UI and other AI tools, they're really difficult to use at times. And so I wanted to make this more approachable, easier for everyone to have access to. At the end of this video, go ahead and join my Discord. You can see all the cool stuff I'm working on and everything I have in the pipeline. And as those guys down on the Discord can attest, I add new features almost daily to Pixel Dojo. So be vocal, be loud. Let me know what you'd like to see. And we'll do this again very, very soon. Thank you all so much. We'll check you next time. I'm the virtual prophet in the tech town. Break it down, AI, wearing the crown. From basics to complex, never let you down. All your tech, AI, earning the renown.